let's begin okay so i am going to use this ganache local blockchain which will provide us with 10 free accounts with 100 ether each and we are going to use those accounts to simulate the real world scenario for this pharma supply chain so now let's move on to the application and I have imported all the accounts into MetaMask and and I have named them accordingly like uh, if, uh, if there's there will be one owner the owner will be the person who deployed the smart contract on the blockchain so the owner only the owner has the right to register all these people like RMS supplier one to manufacturers distributors and retailers you don't need to uh, you don't need to uh, register the consumer uh, let's start uh, i will go to register page so you can see right now it's showing me my current account address this is the ethereum address so i will uh, currently you can see there is no raw, uh, raw material suppliers manufacturer distributor retailers i will add uh, the raw first raw material supplier now this is the raw material supplier i will copy its address I will name him raw material supplier 1 ok suppose this is based in Delhi register note the owner is doing this transaction only owner can do this transaction and if I will if I try to do uh, this transaction using some other account then it will show an error I will show that also right. now I will confirm the transaction can see transaction confirmed and you can see um, i have added the raw material supplier one this is its ethereum address place and this is its id so now now let me uh, try to add another raw material supplier using this account using the first raw material suppliers account suppose i want to add the second uh, rms supplier i will copy its address back to rms supplier one and i will name him raw material supplier two which is based in chandigarh register so here you can see it's showing me an error if i try to confirm it an error occurred and this transaction will fail this is because only the owner is has the right to register all these people so now i'm going to register all of them I will be registering all of these people as I have named them accordingly. So now you can see that I have added all the required people here like uh, the two raw material suppliers, two manufacturers, two distributors, two retailers. Now for a particular medicine we can use any of these raw material suppliers and any of these manufacturers or distributors or retailers. Uh, so they can have more more of these people but because uh, our ganache blockchain only provides us with 10 free accounts so i am using all of them almost all of them so let's go to home now this is the first step this should be done only once by the owner only now the owner will give orders for some medicines to produce and process so let's say uh, paracetamol it's a medicine for suppose, cold cold medicine now i i am in the owner account as you can see so i order as you can see uh, the paracetamol is added to the ordered medicine and the current stage going medicine ordered if I will try to do this with some other account, for example with this account then it will not work Let's see, suppose some anything random order now it is showing an error so after these two steps are done, now we will control the supply chain so as you can see, this would be the supply chain flow medicine order, which is done here you can see the raw material supplier will supply the raw materials manufacturer will manufacture then distributor will distribute and then retailer will retail or sell whatever and the customer will buy so these are five steps and this uh, first uh, 
for this medicine we will uh, supply raw materials so now I, I as you know I have two raw material suppliers uh, so only a raw material supplier can do this step if I try to do this with owner let's say if I try to do this with owner then it's giving me error, error because only a raw material supplier can do this all of the, these conditions are coded in the smart contract so now I will choose a raw material supplier for this medicine I think I am going to choose raw material supplier 1 so at, now I am in the raw material supplier 1's account and uh, I will process medicine number 1 this medicine supply this uh, raw materials for this medicine and when I confirm now you can see the current processing stage and raw material supply stage so it's gone to its next stage now I will manufacture this medicine so to manufacture I'm gonna use manufacture number two for a change okay so let's manufacture if anyone else tries to do this these steps then there will be an error so now you can see it's in the manufacturing stage and also if suppose uh, my medicine is not yet manufacture and I directly try to distribute it then also it will show an error suppose I, I would uh, skip this distributor and directly want to go to retailer then that cannot happen so let's try to do this let's so uh, okay let's take the retailer suppose retailer one now the retailer one tries to retail the medicine is still in the manufacturing stage now you can see it is showing an error so this is all coded in the smart contract the third step would be to distribute this medicine for that we are going to choose distributor number let's choose number 2 now distributor number 2 will distribute this medicine confirm now you can see it's in the distribu distribution stage so suppose uh, now we want to track our medicine uh, at this stage only it's not yet sold but we want to track it so for that I have another option in home go to this track medicine here it will list all the medicines now you can see it's showing a distribution stage so now, now I want all the details about this medicine like uh, who distributed it who supplied it and all so I will track and here you can see first there is information about the medicine and you can see it's in the distribution stage and it's this raw material supplied by supplier number one manufactured by manufacturer number two distributed by distributor number two so we can track any item in any stage now let's uh, complete sell this item let's uh, take it to the last stage and then again check the check the tracking system if it works so it's currently in the distribution state after distribution we will retail this so i'm choosing retailer number one now retailer number one will retail this confirm you can see it's in the retail stage now the retailer has the medicine so suppose a buyer comes to him and uh, he sells the medicine to the buyer now retailer will mark this medicine as sold note no only this retailer can mark this medicine as sold because only he has the medicine to sell so if i try to uh, mark uh, this item as sold by some other retailer like retailer 2 who doesn't have this medicine so it will show an error see now let's mark this item as sold by retailer 1 confirm now you can see it's showing medicine sold now we will uh, check our track medicine showing medicine sold one track now you can see it's showing it is uh, the raw materials are supplied by raw material supplier one who is based in delhi then raw material manufacturer one manufacturer two based in rotak and distributor by distributor number two based in vizac retailed by retailer one in pondicherry and finally sold so we can track our medicines at any given point at any stage suppose uh, i've just ordered a medicine I will order another medicine med 2 description ds only owner can do this so I will select the owner's account med 2 ds order 
now this medicine is just ordered now if I want to check type this medicine number 2 I can say not yet process so this is the tracking system which users can use consumers anyone can use and all of these changes are written to the blockchain here we can see the transactions all the contact calls and stuff and uh, yeah this is it so thank you